Okay, watch the step up. Okay. Home, at least for now. For Sadu Mohammed and Razaki El, this is the first real glimpse at the Canadian life they're seeking. Okay, so you're going to be living upstairs on the second floor. Um, and their new reality of living with disability. We are very happy now because we, we desperate want to be independent because we know what happened to us. Both men fled Ghana and traveled to the U.S. Okay. On Christmas Eve, they walked across the border here near Emerson, Manitoba, spending hours in deep snow and extreme cold. Suffering such severe frostbite, doctors amputated all of their fingers. We lose our fingers, but we can make it in the society. Their case was one of the first to draw attention to the large numbers of asylum seekers who are crossing the border illegally. International law, however, allows them to claim refugee status. Both say their lives are in danger. Mohammed, for reasons of his sexual orientation. I will be murdered and I'll go to jail when I go back home. For Yell, it's political reasons he's waiting to explain in his refugee hearing. Some people want to kill me. Last year, only 43% of claimants from Ghana got refugee status. As they wait for their hearings, they're learning to live independently. Basics like eating, cooking, using the bathroom. So you'll be able to shower by yourself. You won't Care that's being provided by a Christian resettlement agency. Okay. That's my job is to make people uh, uh, gain the confidence and the skills and heal as, as they need to with, with the appropriate therapy, of course, uh, and then become independent. Their lives forever changed. Both say they think often of that night. If we know that the cold is going to be that cold, we'll, we'll wait for the cold to go away. I know I lost my fingers, but is it better for me to go back and be girl killed or going to jail? Their futures here now ride on one interview and a decision by a single panel member of the Canadian Refugee and Immigration Board next month. Cameron McIntosh, CBC News, Winnipeg.